My name is Daniela Jagger. I have been doing this long with Natalia and Maude and Yate and a lot of other faces in this crowd for two years, since 2020. At that point, I was begging the city's mayor to keep NYC schools open. Since November 2020, we've learned a lot. We have learned that keeping our schools closed and shutting kids out of their communities, not, not just in the state, an unmitigated disaster. And not just for their education, but also for their mental and emotional well-being. School is not just attending classes. School don't mean to be open that you can walk through the door. Schools need to be open in that they provide a community for New York City's children and their families to grow and develop their own potential. I'm not going to talk about the sports mandate. It's obviously ridiculous. It is obscene that Kyrie Irving, God bless him, he's been a good child, but it's obscene that Kyrie Irving can play for 10,000 unvaccinated fans, but a 15 year old cannot throw a football to his friend after school and organize sports. I want to talk today about how unvaccinated parents are still not allowed in their children's school buildings. And because unvaccinated parents are allowed in and school safety agents and principals do not want to be the COVID police, what ends up happening is that no parents are allowed in their school, in their child's school buildings. Curriculum night, the night when you meet your child's teacher, the person they spend seven hours a day with every single day for 10 months, online. No parents are allowed in the building. Parent-teacher conferences are online. Any activity that a school used to have, Family Fridays, that brought parents into the building so that they could build a community, so that they could meet the teachers that were educating their children, so that they could meet the parents of the children that their kids sat next to every single day, have been eliminated and canceled. If your child is struggling in school, you cannot go into the building to meet their teacher. You cannot go into the building to meet their guidance counselor. You cannot go in the building to meet their social worker. In order to sign up my child for kindergarten, I had to show the school safety agent my vaccine. Why? Why do we do this? You, it, 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 and it, it, it expands and extends. You cannot go see your child's school play. You cannot go see your child in a school concert. You cannot bring cupcakes into your child's classroom to celebrate their birthday. And these are all, I understand, these might seem to some people like small, trivial things. But these were the things that made school more than just the place you sent your child for seven hours a day to learn how to read a book. These are the things that made school a community. And these are the things that made school a community. It is long past time to return normalcy to our school children and to our school building. Right. And as I say those words, as I say it's time to restore, to restore normal school, I hate that term. We used to just call it school. Right? right. right? That was, it was a full time in person with no masks and parents in the building and birthday parties and you used to be school. And it is time to go back into that. School where you can go into your child's school building and see their classroom and see the art on the walls and the projects they are working on. School where you can meet the other parents in your child's class and form a community with them. This is the fourth year that parents are being deprived of a normal school year. And for what? What benefit is there by keeping unvaccinated parents, and in many cases all parents, out of the classroom? What benefit is there to that? What are we gaining by treating unvaccinated parents like second class citizens? For a mayor and school chancellor who claim to care about the education, who claim to care about equity, who claim to care about providing a full and complete education for their children, this policy is a scandal. It is misguided when it's supposed to be closed and we are in a classroom. And it is now not only misguided, it is anti science. There is no science to say why an unvaccinated parent is not allowed to go to school building while a vaccinated parent can be. It needs to end. And our children and our families deserve normalcy. So we are all here today. It's the sports, it's the after school, it's the school plays, it's the school concerts, it's the family Fridays, it's the birthday parties, it is meeting your child's teacher and your, your child's friends' parents. All of that needs to come back immediately. Thank you. Yeah.